Hey everybody. Now, I've been doing a lot of videos about Marathon, and I'm going to continue doing a lot of videos about Marathon, but I am planning on doing a video here and there about different gaming topics that I'm currently interested in. And today we're going to talk about due process. It's been a little while. Now, I know I've said it's been a while since I've talked about due process, but I haven't actually played due process in about six months, to be fully clear and honest. Now, to clarify, if you don't know, I've said it a lot, but uh, due process is a five versus five tactical shooter with procedural maps, and it's honestly a great deal of fun. I am a due process partner, uh, but like I said, it's been some time since I've spoken about it or made any videos about the topic, really. It has been one of the best competitive shooters that I've played, and it really scratches the itch for deep planning and for an asymmetrical breach and clear style firefight. But with a small dev team, this can take time. Time. In between trying to get rid of bugs and create new content, development can be somewhat slow. Not to mention needing to get newly crafted maps out every few weeks. In my opinion, the devs have done a great job fixing bugs while rolling out new content and features. They've even had a few events for Christmas and Halloween. The big issue comes in with the player base. There have been very low numbers for players, which is pretty rough when you need at least 10 people for a full match and there's only a PvP mode in this game. There has been a lot of buzz around the game before, and it has shown in the player counts over the last three years. Sadly, we have been in a real lull for players and for content, and the devs have kind of put their heads down and have been working on content and a lot of bug fixes. They are taking a new approach with their Twitter marketing, which is somewhat interesting, but I feel like this is them just being honest and blunt about how they feel about the game, and how it's technically dead, but work is actually still getting done on it. Now I'm not going to get into why I think people have left the game or the issues with keeping the player base around, but what I do want to talk about is what the devs have been up to and the big update that they're planning to drop during this Steam Summer Sale. By the way, the game is on sale for just five bucks American dollars, so you should go out and try it. Looking at the roadmap and their list of updates, first we have Hit Registration. Now the game has suffered uh, at times with some hit registration problems, and I'm glad to see that that'll be fixed. This is something that makes everyone happy for sure. Uh, next we have uh, some rank overhaul improvements, which I think will be very helpful because it sounds like the last thing the game might need is, is ranked being updated, uh, but it didn't really function like any other game that has a ranked mode in it. Every time you won a game, your, your number went up, and every time you lost a game, your number went down, and there wasn't really a, a true ranking. So this will be good when we have uh, more players, and hopefully this will kind of help sort out you know the newer players from the more veteran players, as that's kind of been an issue in the past as well. Player collision between enemies is finally being implemented, and there's nothing quite like running through somebody whether you're trying to shoot and they kill you from within your own head. That's that's really not, not fun, and it can be very confusing at times. Now this one is something people have been waiting for for some time, which is the attackers will get the ballistic shield. Now due to a network refactor, they had to remove it to fix it, but uh, it's coming back, and I think we'll all be having a lot of fun using the ballistic shield here soon. Next is deployment ghosts for charges and grenades. That's a pretty standard quality of life update, which I think uh, I appreciate, and most people will. Next we have, uh, oh, this is a big surprise for me actually. They're adding a co-op bot mode, where you and other players can play as the attackers and take on the defending bots. Now this, I know, was never in the original scope for the game, but I think this is gonna be added to help add some longevity to the game. It'll be something, it's kind of an incentive for more players to either return or try the game since some people are more interested in PvE, even though I think it'll be more of a practice mode to some degree. And it'll probably help when there's only three people online on the game, because that's been an issue before, so at least I'll have something to do. That'll be good. And quickly going through the last few updates, we have a sound overhaul, improved weapon impacts, adding some theme music to the bank tile set, updating domes, level gen, and art updates on the current grenades. All these updates I think are really, really good, and I think these will be really beneficial to the game overall. I truly hope when this update drops we can see a bit more of a lasting player base. I think this game is great, and I think it deserves a chance. Several other big streamers and YouTubers have actually been talking about the game, and they talk about how much they liked the game, they remember it fondly, and how they don't want it to go away. So to any fan to the game, and to the Gek devs themselves, this game is worth the time. This has been Rez, and I'll see you in the Argus truck, my guys. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. I was just about to hit export on the video when I realized I got a notification from Rev, uh, Revenant, uh, one of the community managers who mentioned the update is actually now out. Um, so go check that out, please. The game is only $5. So if you haven't played it before, go and get it. If you've played it before, come out, come on and try the new updates and all the different things they've added. Uh, I'll be out there too. I'll be playing some more as I get time. So please get the game, play it, and let's try and make a little bit more of a bigger player base so everybody can actually enjoy what due process is. Thanks everybody. I'll see you in another video. Bye. Before I go, one last side note. There's been so many side notes. 
uh, this new update is actually on the public test environment. Uh, the update is going to be launched there and will be there until they're actually sure the game's going to work and that all these features are going to function properly before they put it to prod. So, uh, to be a part of that, you have to opt into the Steam beta selection in the menu of the game's properties. So, uh, you can go onto the Discord, or the Due Process Discord, for more information and instructions. There's also a new dev blog, which I will put a link in the description so you can get more info on that. That's it. Promise this time. <laughs> I'm happy. I love the chuckle. The chuckle with the kills. <laughs> I get so happy. <laughs> Upon murder. Oh, I'm a missing so bad. Okay, last one got him. Shoot. <laughs> That's really bad. Oh. Oh. Please. Yes. 